When I found out she cheated on me, I was ready to walk away. It's a deal breaker for me. But now she's saying she has a sex addiction. Part of me thinks it's just a desperate excuse, but then again, what if she really is sick? I don't know what to think. It sounds like you're really struggling with what to do next. I don't know your partner, so I can't tell you whether she's dealing with a sex addiction or not. But what I can do is explain to you more about the mechanisms behind sex addiction. Although it does not excuse cheating, it could help you understand what may be going on with your partner. I mean, okay, maybe it would help me feel less angry. Our brains have systems in place that ensure our survival and control things like our desire for sex and food. Like many other addictions, sex and love addictions happen when those systems become hijacked and influence our cravings and desires. What do you mean by that? Sometimes our brain gets so excited about the potential for pleasure that we feel a pressing need to do something, even if there could be some negative consequences from the actions. Once we've experienced something pleasurable like good food, sex, or the high from a drug, these brain systems work together at an unconscious level to fuel further action and reproduce the same experience. Our hippocampus reminds us that the experience will likely be pleasurable. Then our nucleus accumbens, which is the pleasure and reward center of the brain, activates desire in our brain and body. Next, dopamine is released to fuel the desire and adrenaline is released to create a sense of urgency. All of these processes can reprogram our frontal lobe, which is a part of the brain in charge of decision-making and can also make irrational decisions seem rational. This reprogramming is how experts think addiction may occur at a neurological level. I didn't realize all this stuff was happening inside our brain to cause addiction. So if sex is addictive, why doesn't everyone who has sex get addicted to it? That's a great question. It's likely a combination of factors. Genes can play a role. People who tend to feel insecure in their relationships or avoid intimacy with others seem to show more signs of sex addiction. Although any gender can be affected by sex addiction, it's more common among men. And most importantly, sex addiction is not about what you yourself would regard as healthy sex or healthy love, but about a person doing sexual things that they feel compelled to do against their better judgment. Behaviors that they themselves defined as unhealthy, later regret, and even pray to never repeat. It's that relentless, compulsive, and self-destructive quality of the behaviors that makes it an addiction. Thanks for explaining all of this. I'm starting to understand some of the factors that cause sex addiction, and I really appreciate being able to talk to you as I work through my feelings about this. Of course, you're not alone, and we'll get through this together. If you feel you may be experiencing sex addiction, there's help out there. There are free 12-step support groups, which are like Alcoholics Anonymous, but for sex. There's a few S groups out there, and you may want to read more about them. They include Sex and Love Addicts Anonymous, Sex Addicts Anonymous, and Sexaholics Anonymous. If you're a mental health provider seeking information on evidence-based treatment, check out our courses at psychhub.com.